Then hooked a big surprise Saturday night while they were out on the Tom Bigby River. WCBI's Jory Talley joins us now live in the studio with more on their big catch. Jory? Emily, instead of catching a few catfish, these men caught another type of river creature that weighed almost 500 pounds. Alligator season is here and only lasts for a short time. That's why Drake Blanton, his dad, and a friend bought alligator tags, piled into a 16-foot fishing boat, and went on their first alligator hunt. We was trying to get close enough to him for probably two hours before we even got to throw a hook at him. And then once we hooked up to him, I mean, it was just... A huge adrenaline rush. I mean, the pole felt like it was going to break the whole time. The pole felt like it was going to break because there was an 11 foot 4, 474 pound alligator dragging it down. At one point, whenever I threw like a hand line that wouldn't own like a rod and reel, uh -huh. it was just basically like a rope with a hook on it. And I hooked him and he about like pulled me in. So I just had to let go of that. And we went back to just using the rod and reels until we wore them out some more. An hour and a half later, the fight was done. After we got him up close to the boat, we had to put a snare on him to make sure that once we shot him that he wouldn't sink to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then we had to tie him up to the side of the boat because he was so big we couldn't pull him in. It took over 24 hours for the hunt and catch and took five guys to lift the nearly 500 pound gator into the boat. I struggled, you know, trying to get him in and it was really sore like the next day and even the day after, you know, trying to fight with him for an hour or long or so. And my dad, he even had some bruises on his stomach from trying to hold the rod like, you know, so tight. And, you know, the whole time you couldn't even reel him in, you kind of just had to let him carry you up and down the river until they tired out. The men didn't win a prize for their big catch they named Tebow, but they did earn bragging rights and over 100 pounds of alligator meat. The alligator took four hours to process and was taken to the state line processing. The men plan on mounting the head of the alligator and getting the skin tan. See you later, alligator. Emily, back to you.